Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am your host and presenter Pratiman Sarkar. Today I am going to talk to you in this episode about the Chinese intrusion into the airspace. And the title of today's topic is Chinese Air Force Fighter Jet Violates Indian Airspace. India in retaliatory mode. Now the continuous provocation of the Chinese in the Indian territory has been increasing. The provocation on the ground in Ladakh and in the Sikkim region. Now just to remind you viewers, I will mention the list of provocation in short. As you see, dear friends, the list is long. I mentioned them in bullet points so that you understand the real quantum of provocation. And what does this provocation mean? According to Mitch McConnell, US Senate Minority Leader and Ashley Tellis, Senior Fellow at Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, and I quote, in quotes, One reason is Chinese territory grabbing technique, also referred to salami slicing, which involves encroaching upon small parts of the enemy territory over a large period of time, unquote. Yes, viewers, that is the real motive of the Chinese provocations to grab Indian territory. There are many things which I have left out and I will make a separate video on the Chinese provocation if there is a need in the future. What is China doing with its fighter jet across LAC in Ladakh? China has devised a new sensitor design and has shifted its current provocation from ground to skies. The Chinese jets have been flying across near the friction point opposite Chumar Wat sector on a regular basis. For some time to be precise, it has been almost 45 days. But the China as a country crossed all limits in the last week of June. As reported by various media outlets suggesting the confrontation between the two air force Air Forces started in June last week when on June 25th, the Chinese PLLF PLAF J-11 fighter aircraft flew very close to a friction point in Ladakh around 4 a.m. infringing the Indian airspace and was picked up both men on ground as well as by the indigenous radars deployed in the border area. The Air Force responded strongly by scrambling its fighter aircraft including the Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 from its advanced bases near the Ladakh region as per standard operating procedures. What is China's intention behind it? According to an article written by Air Marshal Anil Chopra on November 21st, 2021 for First Post, he has cited the handicap of China. It categorically mentioned the disadvantages of the Chinese side on the Ladakh region. He mentions that the Chinese effectively has three airfields close to eastern Ladakh and through and around eight in Tibet. One more is coming in, in Xinjiang. They are trying to upgrade the infrastructure but have disadvantage of very high altitude. The Chinese state-controlled media handles are releasing about the new aerial platforms and technology that are being developed by them. But on the contrary, the Indian Air Force is fairly placed against the People's Liberation Army's Air Force, which is PLAF in this area. Therefore, China is flying low near the LSC to gather information about the Indian side regarding the infrastructure development, the Army and the Air Force deployment, which can be challenging to the Chinese side if they try any kind of misadventure. 
why is india in a retaliatory mode enough is enough the chinese aerial maneuvers have become too much and has spread across the region now chinese moves are becoming bolder by the day recently china has repeatedly made large scale aerial incursions over a small island nation of taiwan so taiwan is capable enough to handle the situation but it is still a violation of the nation's territorial integrity likewise in a bizarre aerial encounter between two belligerent aircraft an australian p8 maritime reconnaissance aircraft was tailed by chinese j16 combat plane the chinese jet had released shaft or flares into the flight path of the p8 resulting in engine ingestion if that wasn't enough the canadian cp140 aurora petrol aircraft had a hostile interaction with another chinese j16 while in another incident a us or the united states c130 aircraft encountered a confrontational chinese su30 all these maneuvers by the chinese air force over the last few months suggest that china is in an aggressive mood and india cannot afford to sit back and just watch this is confirmed through a report published by the indian news agency ani where the indian air force chief the air force chief marshal vivek ram chaudhary had stated and i quote in quotes whenever we find that the chinese aircraft or remotely piloted system rpas are coming a little close to the line of actual control lsc we take appropriate measures by scrambling our fighters or putting our systems on high alert this has deterred them to quite an extent unquote this means china will get back strongly if it continues its provocation and this comes from highest officer of the indian air force what can india do to deal with china as per information available in public domain two of rafael 12 sikhoi 30 mki aircraft four mig 21 bison and three each of mig 29 and mirage 2000 six of jaguar two of lca are positioned to negotiate the chinese the rafale aircraft is clearly superior to china's j10 j11 and c27 fighter jets armed with long range meteor and mika beyond visual range bvr air to air missiles the rafale fighters are expected to pose a significant threat to the chinese aerial assets Moreover China has a good chain of integrated radars to support the network centric offensive and defensive operations Indian Air Force's legacy surface to surface missile like the SAM3 Pichora and SAM8 OSA AK are upgraded and is being upgraded further with the induction of a large number of indigenous Akash air defense system and also five s400 systems from russia the air defense coverage seems to be very significant at this point of time to cover the large chinese border more systems are being inducted with the induction of the indigenous astra and brahmos the indian air force has significant aerial weapons inventory Indian Air Force has a significant number of UAVs more are being deployed indigenously or being acquired and above all of this is very important on in terms of data because Indian Air Force is very well placed with nearly 25 airfields capable of launching operations against China China effectively has 3 airfields close to eastern Ladakh and around 8 in tibet which we have mentioned earlier one more is coming up in xinjiang they are trying to upgrade the infrastructure but have a disadvantage of very high altitude which has been mentioned by one of the prominent defense analyst and a previous officer i will be able to launch a much larger number of missions not only that that the border roads and connectivity are being improved in india 
Indian Air Force has upgraded its advanced landing controls (ALG) near the China border also. Now all the Indian Air Force fields, air fields, are getting hardened aircraft and the equipment shelters. Now Indian Air Force has now significant number of Sukhoi 30. MKI squadrons facing China. Also, the new acquisition like Rafale C-130J, Chinook, and Apache aircrafts. Basically, Apache aircrafts are nothing but helicopters. Have been located in the eastern region. The same is also applicable to the air defense systems and weapon positioning. So, all in all, India is well equipped to tackle any kind of misadventure taken by China. What is the current status of ongoing talks between India and China? According to the latest media reports published in the military talks between India and China were held on Tuesday, August 5th, after the Indian Air Force countered several Chinese bids to provoke the eastern Ladakh sector by violating the airspace and the confidence building measure lines which mandate that both sides should fly planes within 10 kilometers of LSE. Government sources, as quoted by the Indian news agency ANI, and say, I quote, During the military talks, the Indian side strongly raised objections over the Chinese flying activities near Eastern Ladakh sector for over a month now and asked them to avoid such provocative activities. I unquote. The Chinese have been complaining about the Indian Air Force upgrading its capability to detect Chinese Air Force aircraft operating within the territory controlled by them in the Tibet region. According to ANI report, the government sources have also revealed, and I quote, in quotation it is, the issue of having a direct hotline between Chinese and Indian Air Force had come up from the discussion during the recent talks held in Chusul Moldo border, unquote. It is more likely that China will agree to have a direct hotline seeing India's aggressive literary stand. But let's wait for the outcome. But one thing for certain, China needs to realize that as we have gone beyond those lines which we had spoken in the 1950s and 60s, Hindi, Chini, Bye Bye. When China backstabbed India during that time, this is 21st century, my dear friends, and India is more developed and well equipped to defend its borders. And that reflects in India's strong steps taken in the Ladakh region, which has helped to tone down Chinese aggression to some extent. So friends, with this, I come to the end of this episode. Please leave a comment and let me know what is your view to my video so that I can make it better. I can learn from you and I can also work on the topics which you are going to suggest to me. Keep subscribing and keep commenting on my channel so that I can get you better content all the time. You have a good day ahead and take care and bye-bye.